Hi, this um, video is going to show you how to use the AFM Nanoscope software to measure heights and lengths and widths of, of um, whatever is in your image. Might be uh, nanofibers, might be nanoparticles. Um, so this is how you would do this. So the function you're going to use is is section. So if you just hover above that, it's like a knife going through a three-dimensional shape. So you click on section and uh, you can draw a line through uh, your material. So let's have a look at this nanofiber here. So let's measure its length. So if I position, if I put the arrow down the bottom left here and then draw a line, so if you click left mouse button, drag it up through the fiber to the tail there, let go of the left mouse button, that is a section going through that fiber. And these blue lines, again if I just drag that with the left mouse button, put it near where it starts to deviate up from the background, and the second line here, if I put it where it starts to go back down to the baseline, and the blue line here, you can have up to uh, five or six different uh, lines at once. So here's the blue line, it's the first one. And the length is indicated down here, 0 0.954 micrometers. So 954 nanometers. That is the horizontal distance. Okay, so that would be the length of that fiber. And you could go around measuring a length of another one if I put um, uh, another line through this this fiber here say I uh, go top to bottom or bottom to top doesn't matter again if you draw a second one it's the red line yeah so you see that there if it's a bit hard and you can adjust these red ones if it's hard to see you can get rid of the blue one if I just click on the blue click the left one and then just hit delete oh no if I sorry if I right click on the blue line at that little circle and then hit delete see that one disappears and and because that's the only one left that red now goes to blue <laughs> okay so again I can just if I just want to just smarten that up so it really does go along the length of it like so again I can measure the length like that again measure off the artistic interpretation there but something like that 553 nanometers the vertical distance here doesn't really mean anything because it's the distance between that where that cuts the section there and where this one cuts. So that di height difference doesn't really mean anything. But you could you could make it useful if I put that on the baseline and put another one maybe on one of the higher regions. Now I can read off the vertical distance as 2.259 nanometers. Okay, so that would be the height of the material. I can also measure widths. Again, if I, you can either move this around or you can draw another line. So you could just grab one end, put it like that, move that across if you want to measure a cross section. And you, you can then just grab that line and just push it with the mouse. And you can sort of position these to, to measure the width there. So again, it's a, a horizontal distance. Uh, 74 nanometers. You can even measure a height, put that on the background, put it on the peak. Vertical distance 1.733. So you can go around making loads of measurements and then write them in your book and then you can do all the usual standard deviation, a mean and standard deviation type things. It becomes a bit difficult when you've got this curve section here and the software unfortunately you can't measure contour lengths which are curved, but there is um, some software on image J which can do that. Um, I think that's just about it, so uh, thanks for listening.